what's going on guys today i'm just i'm gonna be replacing this bushing from the sway bar mount uh, earlier a few days ago i replaced the shocks the front shocks and the rears i did that but i didn't record that because that's a pretty simple thing to do but if you guys want me to record like stuff when i do anything like that on my car you know comment down below in the comments let me know and i can make videos like that i mean there's other videos like that for it but if you guys would like if you guys would like to see videos like this from me then just let me know in the comments but well, today i'm just doing this i'm gonna be replacing this bushing and i'm gonna be replacing the outer tie rods a few moments later all right guys and here there's the bushing from the right side of the sway bar it's not that bad but the worst one was the left side look it's all torn up real bad and it's just time to replace it instead of replacing one i'm gonna replace both of them that way they're both the same yeah i'm just gonna put this back on here slide this bad boy in here There we go, like this, in with the new, out with the old. We just slide this back on. We don't have to put this back on, but take these things, pop them back out. Slide this back on, just like that. And now we have brand new bushings. And just like that, we just put this on here now we had brand brand new bushings for the sway bar on the left side and the right side and now all we have to do is slide it back here put it where these bolts are slide it on right here put them back on put the bolts back on put it on and then connect it take the sway bar to this piece of metal thing that i do not know the name of you know like i said this video i'm not i'm not a professional i'm just like you know trying to learn so you guys are learning from this video that's good because i'm trying to learn too and after we do this and put it back on i'm gonna replace the outer tie rods and after that i'm gonna take it to alignment because this vehicle needs an alignment i don't know if you can see right here my tire right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's wearing out here on the edges, on the outside. The in, the inside not so much, but the outside is the worst. And I just got it aligned like a couple days ago, like probably, I'd say five days ago and now it's doing it again. So I'm replacing those parts and then I'm gonna take it to alignment again. Now I'm gonna put this back on. Could be a little bit of a struggle. The other side's done right now. Getting some assistance. Oh boy. This is gonna be a little bit tough, but I'll figure it out. Oh, right here. Oh, never mind. It's not that tough. Just like this. Slide it back on. There it is. Now put the bolts back on. Hmm. All right, guys, and before you put this thing on, make sure you put the sway bar connected to this right here, because I forgot to do that. Get back on. Well, I already did it, but now we now we have to put this on right here. It's just going to be more of a struggle because I already connect the sway bar. All right, guys, so I just got that thing put back on. All right, guys, and here's the new outer tie rod right here pins and little nut right there so for this outer tie rod we just spin it out you know pretty simple it's pretty much like screwing off and screwing another one back on that's pretty much what this is here out with the old in with the new 
All right, so we need to take this off. Try not to move this little bolt right there because that you don't really have to move it. Because let's say your car is doing pretty good like on alignment stuff and whatever. There's no signs of a uneven wear on your tire or whatever. And you know, this is pretty much what they move, people move when they do the alignment. So yeah, you just don't want to move that. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna stop, I think, cause it already met with the bolt here. Cause if I keep going, it's gonna push it back. Yeah, it's gonna push it back. So just, I'm just gonna keep it right here. You can just slide it on, put the nut back on. Just like that, we'll, we'll tighten it up right now. All right, guys, so when you tighten this up, make sure you are able to see this little hole right here. I don't know if you can see it. In order to put the pin... Where's my hand? Where's my hand? Oh, in order to put the pin inside here. Right, guys so i just changed out those parts i changed out the outer tie rod i replaced those um the sway bar bushings and you can see there it is the new sway bar bushings the new outer tie rod um it's a great looking car um in my opinion you know I, I love it um hopefully one day i could swap it out to something else or something because it's slow it's no problem it's not a problem at all it's just you know i want to i want something faster i need something faster i don't know if i'm gonna make this fast or maybe keep it as a my daily v6 it's good on gas especially with the gas prices going up and everything yeah i want to keep it a v6 sometimes so because what up squirrel guys heard him <laughs> he said what's up yeah but i plan on keeping a v6 especially with the gas prices going up and everything right now where i'm at right here is like 365 375 a gallon especially that for being like the lowest um i think i believe it's 87 octane um but yeah it's expensive and let's say i want to get like a newer car coyote 2016 2018 you know those cars right there take premium gas and the premium right now 75 85 95 it's a 405 415 gallon so yeah well all, all i gotta do right now is we'll get an alignment on this side you can see a little bit like i said previously right now see right here wearing out a little bit shouldn't be wearing unevenly like that and this side's the worst side i don't know if you can see well i'm you guys can see, but I don't know if you guys would, like, would notice it, but I notice it a lot. It's wearing out like all the way up to here, pretty much. You can see how bad it is here on the edges. And I really need to get this thing aligned. And I don't know if I'll record that. If I do, I'll add it to the video right now after this. And if I don't, well, then this will be the end of the video for him. And you know, if you guys are new to the channel, Wicked Sting Moves here, and this is Silver. Um, you know subscribe to the channel leave a like comment like what else you think would be good for this channel and yeah i really appreciate those who watch you know watch the videos find it entertaining thank you guys
so end of the video